today we're going to be talking about the benefits of probiotics. <laughs> what? Go kick the tripod, he says. <laughs> Hi everybody, Rachel from Leo and Lucky's. Today we're going to be talking about the benefits of probiotics. Probiotics are a beneficial bacteria, so we have good bacteria and bad bacteria in our bodies at all times, but what we want to make sure that we're doing is that we're making more good bacteria than bad bacteria. That's going to keep your pet healthier. Probiotics help break down your food. They increase your pet's immunity and they also can help with any type of leaky gut or gut problems in general. Probiotics can be found in pill form and powder form. Some foods already have probiotics in it. A lot of the um, kibble foods will add probiotics and there are some amazing foods with probiotics. So if you don't want to actually add the probiotics to your food, come in and talk to us and we'll tell you some of the brands that do have heavy probiotics in them. But if you're not sure or you just want to do it, we have pills and powders, treats, um, some chews, things like that. So you have lots of options to be able to do it. With the probiotics, I do like to suggest doing a digestive enzyme. And what digestive enzymes do is they break down all of the different parts of your food. So amylase helps break down the carbohydrates. Lipase breaks down your fats. If you don't have enough digestive enzymes either being produced by the body or put into the body, you have a lot of true digestive problems. So that will often come up through vomiting and or malnutrition. So with a digestive enzyme, let's take amylase for example. Since dogs and cats are primarily carnivores, they don't need a lot of amylase because they're not eating a heavy carbohydrate food. However, fast forward to today's pets, we do have a heavier carbohydrate load, which often puts a lot of um, wear and tear on the pancreas. So if we're adding any type of digestive enzyme to them, then your organs don't have to work so hard. But what helps the probiotics actually live? Prebiotics. So you have to have some type of prebiotic in the body for the probiotics to do their job. Prebiotics generally come from vegetables, fruits, um, some grasses. So some of the foods that we carry will have the grasses and the fruits and the vegetables in there to help give you the prebiotics. But if you're not sure, you can always add something. The one thing I have here as an example is the primal uh, awesome squash. So this is made with winter squash and winter squash is very high in fiber and fiber is very heavy in the prebiotics. So your probiotics can thrive. Another way you can add probiotic is through goat milk. You guys have heard me talk about goat milk ad nauseum. <coughs> goat milk is amazing. Everybody should use it. There are so many wonderful attributes that goat milk provides. We have lots of different brands, each of them a little bit different. Probiotics with digestive enzymes. So this is an all-in-one. Most of you are feeding a prebiotic already in your foods somewhere. And then we have our Leo and Lucky's brand, and these are little chews. The dogs love them. They're super palatable. So if your dog is maybe a little uneasy about eating anything on top of their food, you can give this to them as a treat. Everybody should have a probiotic, a digestive enzyme, and please make sure that you have some type of prebiotic in the system for those probiotics to work. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at rachelm at leoandluckies.com or you can put it down in the comments below or you can call us, you can come into the store, lots of ways that we can be able to help you. So come on in and I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please be sure to give it a like. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to put it down in the comments section below. If you are interested in more pet-tastic videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hug your pet today.